the beauty of the auditorium. Thank God we have beautiful auditoriums to stay. The largest, the biggest church today in the world, the greatest church today in the world is in China and they meet underground. They meet underground. They don't even have Bibles. They are under severe persecution. They meet, they dig ground and go under to hear the word of God once in a while. And that is where the strongest church in the world is emerging from today. They don't have AC. They don't have TV ambience. They don't have all this fancifulness. Yet that is the strongest church and that is where excellence is found. Excellence is the message. Not the ushers that stand like flight attendants. Not all of that. That's not excellence. The excellence is the message. You can have all of that without message. Am I talking here? Why did you come to church? To see fine girls on the, on the door welcoming you. Why did you come to church? Exactly. Did you come to church for air conditioner? Don't you have one in your house? You have in your house. But you left your AC to come to where you are sweating like me. Because you want to hear what will, what will secure you for time and eternity. Am I talking to somebody here? The message is what we come for. So the excellency is not in the ambience. Uh -uh. all these things are good but that's not it if we pursue it we will leave the message so let's leave it and pursue the message if we find it on the way we use it if we don't find it we use it it's not ambience but you see a young man coming to the ministry instead of learning the message he's looking for money to rent a hall he's looking for how to buy equipment He's looking for suits to wear and tie. He's looking for how to speak in an appealing way. That's not ministry. Oh. That's not ministry. You want to be a, a, a model for fashion. Ministry is not funfair. Ministry is warfare. Yes, ministry is not funfair. We are not stars. We are servants. Men of God are not stars. We are your servants. We serve you grace. We serve you. Jesus say, he that will be chief among you must be your servant. Are you not sitting down? I'm standing. Are you not writing notes comfortably? I'm sweating. What am I doing? I'm serving you. Ministers are servants. It's not funfair. It's not about wearing designers. And telling you how much my cost, my wristwatch costs, and how much my shoe costs, 